All units, all units. 1010 Asset 36 in Park. Repeat, all units be advised. Shots fired at Fisk Towers. Early on, uh, we collaborated with um, Dan Slott, um, who, you know, was there at the beginning to kind of help us understand, okay, what makes a great Spider-Man game, uh, or a great Spider-Man story. Um, and then throughout the course of the game, uh, there were two other writers that, that worked with me, uh, Ben Arfman and Christos Gage. It was, it was very helpful that early on, everybody said, okay, Insomniac, you make great games, you know what you're doing. Um, we want something original, go off and, and do it. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we never really had any moments along the way where, where somebody was like, no, you can't do that, don't do that, don't do that. It was, it was always like us going to them saying, we want to do this, is that okay? And they'd say, yeah, let's do that, you know, let's, let's change things up. Um, and like I said, it was helpful because, uh, you know, everybody was on the same page. We all wanted to make something new, something original just for the PlayStation 4. Hey, Willie. You. We played all of the games, uh, you know, in, in doing research uh, for this one. Um, and uh, we, we tried our best to, to uh, you know, see what works in, in the various games. And I know Spider-Man 2 is one of those that everybody calls out as, you know, the swinging, you know, being really great because the web's actually attached to the building. So um, that happens in our game as well. Your insurance is paid up. He's always been uh, very smart, um, very like he creates his own suit and his own gadgets and everything. Um, so we felt like the most natural uh, place for him to be would be in a lab that is doing similar work. Um, and uh, without spoiling anything, that's that's where he works. For acts of extraordinary bravery, I'm the one who kept order in this city. Uh, Maybe, uh, we'll see, but uh, what's cool about him in this game is that he's the mayor of New York City, um, and he's definitely gonna be you know, a part of the, of, of the story that happens because you know, his job as mayor is to keep the city safe. Spider-Man also feels like that's his job, so naturally there's gonna be some conflict there. It's over. Come on, dude, let's go. Miles. Uh, we're, we haven't talked yet about uh, Miles' role, just the fact that he is in the game. Um, but he represents, you know, I, I talked earlier about the themes of mentorship and partnership. He is definitely one of those partners that, that Peter's going to have to turn to. I don't know, I mean, one of the things we wanted to do was to create our own universe, right? Um, so we don't want to connect it with any movies or anything else that, that's out there. Um, but Eddie Brock exists. Uh, Eddie Brock is not a character in our in our story. So um, yeah, we just uh, you know, like I said, we wanted to to keep it our own. But I'm super excited about the Venom movie. Like I'm gonna be there day one. We have um, already announced plans for DLCs. We're calling it the City That Never Sleeps. And it's a series of, of smaller stories um, that you'll be able to, you know, explore the city again, um, meet new characters that we haven't explored in the in the main game, um, and have more and unique, more unique challenges. Yeah.